Hello everybody, my name is Hope and welcome back to my channel. I like musicals, they're a big part of my life and today I'm going to see Heather's on tour. Woo! Now obviously you can see my nails have been prepared for this and I actually got this as a birthday present for my 17th birthday. Now just for reference, I turned 18 about five months ago. So <laughs> it's been a bit of a delay, you know, Covid did that, but we're finally going to get to see it. Today is Saturday, the 8th of October and we're seeing the matinee performance. No, my skin look atrocious so I need to point it out. I'm very aware of that but I'm just gonna show you my outfit and then we're gonna go. So I didn't do it whilst I was at home so I'm doing it here. Coat is from Born Bag. No, no, bag is from River Island. Dress is from Sheen and boots are also from Born Bag. I don't know if you can spot it, there is the freezer. It is advertising but not freezing, but we're going to see Heather's and I almost just walked into a pole, so I'm going to stop filming now. the next day and have a lot of thoughts so I thought I'd share them with you guys so number one I would recommend going to see the show if you can I really enjoyed it it's a lot of fun Heather's is one of my favorite shows and has been for about five years oh oh god that's kind of sad to think about <laughs> so obviously Heather's was the first show I was fully obsessed with I was obsessed with it I remember there was a week where I think I watched it more times than there was days in the week like it was crazy I was so obsessed with it and I still love it now but obviously not to the same extent but because because I loved it like when it came out like 2015 oh my god that's six years Ugh, that's crazy to think about was when I kind of fell in love with it and therefore the off-broadway cast was the cast that I was used to and the tone that I was used to and that was it that was the only production there was and so that was the only media I had so when the West End cast came out I wasn't totally there for it because I adored the off-broadway cast so much and therefore when I went to go watch this 
I didn't know what I was getting into because the tones are also different. So this one went with a bit more of a comedic and serious tone. It was kind of a mix of the two. And I don't know whether it was just me getting used to it or me watching it and not being used to it. But I don't know whether it really fit. But I think that's just me personally knowing so much about the show and the original tone, which makes it different. And that's why I think it made it harder for me to enjoy Veronica and Chandler's performances. They were amazing. Like, both of them vocally amazing, character-wise was great, but they went for the more comedic approach and therefore it made me more difficult to like them because I'm not a, f a massive fan of those approaches, but that's fine. That's how they chose to play the character. Obviously that has to do with the direction of the show. Still enjoyed their performances, thought they were great. I think that was why I couldn't adore this show if that makes sense. I'm just gonna quickly talk about the tech stuff because I really like it. I don't think a lot of people do, but it's always something I pay attention to. The lighting design, absolutely loved it. Thought it was gorgeous. Sound, pretty solid. There's not really much you can say on sound other than like sound effects, but there wasn't that many of them, so it was still good. Costumes, beautiful. I love the costumes, they're really nice. Set, set was really cool. I love the sliding doors. They had these like sliding doors with the Westerberg and then that opened and it revealed more of the stage. Really like that. And also they had lockers. Basically when you open the lockers, they like, were multifunctioning. Thought that was very smart as well. So set design, overall good. Are there any set things that I'm missing? I don't think so. Band, great. I love a band, me. A live band, uh, you can't really go wrong. I love a band, so that was great too. Okay, now we'll move on to performances. Veronica, I enjoyed it. There was a lot of tone option downs. And what I mean by that is when the hardest parts of Veronica's vocals were kind of taken out and like turned down a bit, which is fine, you know? I know some of them were changed because of the like vocal damage or whatever, but I don't know if all of that was changed and obviously Obviously being very aware of what is sang in the show, I was like, I want to sing the option ups because that's what makes Veronica such a hard role to play. JD, I enjoyed. <laughs> One thing I did pay attention to was he doesn't open his mouth very much and that's not a criticism, that's just me. And, and then I pointed it out to people and then they were like, no, I could only focus on that. But his performance was good, I enjoyed it, played it well, can't really say much else. Chandler, like I said, I enjoyed. Very eccentric, but that was just the approach she went for. That wasn't really my cup of tea, but her vocals are are insane in candy store her riff beautiful it was amazing honestly crazy i was like oh i want to be able to do that <laughs> Jute adored she was my favorite i want to say it's meryl ansa i think i've pronounced that wrong i don't know how to pronounce it i loved her literally as soon as she walked on my eyes went straight to her she was the person that i was drawn to i wanted to watch her all the time loved her absolute order mcnamara i realized that mcnamara doesn't really have a whole lot to do in the first act but in the second act when she sang lifeboat and she was in the reprise and she actually got like her chance shine. She really stepped up to the plate and I really enjoyed her performance then. Kurt and Ram loved them. Thought they were great. They really just threw themselves into it and they were very believable. I enjoyed it very much. And then, you know, just in general, chorus was good. Loved the harmonies. Harmonies were great in this show. Really nice. But yeah, I think that's everything on like massive thoughts I had about the show. The new songs, cause I've never heard them live before. I Say No, I liked it, it was fine. Your Welcome is good. I actually like Your Welcome now, I didn't like it before. I do prefer Blue. I just think it's way more stupid and therefore more entertaining, but I like both, so that was fun. Never Shut Up Again. I listened to that song once before. I don't like, I didn't like it before. Now I listen to Meryl Singer and I'm like, yes please. I'm gonna listen to it all the time. I love it, it's great. But yeah, so they, that was like my mini review of the show. I would really Mecca and going to watch it. I love Heather's. It's such a good show and they all do such a good job. Touring is hard enough. Like they were only in Manchester for a week and now they're off to Belfast. So, you know, it's crazy. They deserve all the praise that they're getting. I'd so recommend going to watch it. It was very enjoyable. But I think that is it. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you like it, you can like it. You can subscribe if you feel like it. That would really help me out. I'm just saying. You don't have to because I'm not forcing you to. But it would be nice. Follow me at social medias here. Hope Wilson with two ends and underscore on Twitter. Hope Wilson45 on TikTok and XO Wilson X on Instagram. And I think that's all I have to say. So keep enjoying musicals as much as me and I will see you in the next one.